today's session is uh, Renue Dion, who is a PhD candidate in the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Uh, Renue is interested in uh, many facets of system security, including mobile web security, uh, vulnerability analysis, and side channel analysis. And today he will be talking about information leakage via GPUs. Uh, thanks, for, uh, thanks for the introduction. Hello, everyone. I'm Wenri Dio. It's my pleasure to introduce our work on GPU security. It's a joint work with Zhezhou, Xiang Yiliu, Zhou Li, Ke Wan Zhang, and uh, Rui Liu. OK, let's start. As we all know, CPU is a general purpose processor. It can do any kinds of computation. GPU stands for Graphic Processing Unit. It's a special purpose uh, processor and designed for handling uh, graphic processing. CPU and uh, GPU have their mo own memory space separately. That is to say, GPU manage its GPU memory independently. The data exchange are done through PCIe bus. Nowadays, the graphic execution feature is widely used by popular applications such as Chrome Adobe, uh, Adobe Reader, GMP, MATLAB, Firefox, uh, uh, VCL. Uh, for uh, video decoding and decode, uh, even video decoding and decode, uh, decoding, uh, page rendering, and other special purpose computations. Also, GPU vendors release convenient and powerful APIs for developers to, to, uh, to easily deploy program on GPU. This is a case of Chrome. In its system setting, the option uh, use hardware acceleration when available is turned on by default. Also, we could find many graphic features could be supported by the uh, GPU hardware acceleration from page rendering to uh, video decoding. GPU are originally designed to provide uh, high speed computation power, but uh, the data security is not considered very well. One example is the vulnerable GPU memory measurement. Being independent of the main system memory, the GPU memory is managed by the GPU itself and thus may violate some security policy normally enforced by the OS and the CPU. For the main memory, any Newly located space in the memory must be clear to zero to avoid the information leakage. Developers and the de developers cannot control the physical memory. But for GPU memory, this security guarantee doesn't exist. Previous research have, read, uh, have studied the security implication of the architecture and the features of modern GPUs, like uh, infra browsing history and the infra crypto key. However, this work usually rely, uh, usually rely on set channel information and uh, can only infer limited information. In this work, we reported uh, a major advance in this uh, in this field. We developed. Uh, new techniques for recovering raw image from GPU memory residues. With new techniques, highly sensitive information can be directly extracted and harvested by adversary. In our, in our adversary model, we assume the adversary has successfully obtained the permission to access GPU memory and run programs under a non-privileged account on the target machine, that is, the one who shares the same hardware with different accounts. One common scenario is a, a school computing lab. In this work, we propose, <laughs> well, in this work, the adversary's target is to recover meaningful information, that is, image from GPU memory residues of victims. There are three main steps. First step, identify image lags, tails from GPU memory. Step two, reconstruct the images from tails with pressure boundaries. Step three, rearrange, uh, rearrange, recover the image in the correct order. Uh, let's see some of them in details. 
The first step, the first step of tech to identify possible data blocks that are likely to be parts of meaningful images. We use the prime and the probe method. That is when started, the malicious application tried to override every bit of the GPU memory it can access with the predefined value C0 XXF. Then the memory is initial, initialized. Then the victim uh, opens applications such as Chrome and uh, access some website. During this process, Chrome will use some memory, with some GPU memory for page rendering. Then the user close Chrome and uh, Chrome release the GPU memory. During this process, the malicious application always run in the background and query the available, the available, uh, set, uh, available set of me uh, GPU memory. If we find the available memory increase sharply, it means a weak team, uh, a weak team application just released a chunk of uh, memory space. Then the malware will make a copy of the GPU memory. After that, we split the, uh, split the memory into four key blocks and uh, filter out all 0xxf uh, blocks. The remaining blocks are con consecutive into a big block uh, called tail for further processing. The next step is to infer the layout information associated with the embedded image. An image, especially a special one, a sensitive one, is quite different from other artificially generated data, such as the single, uh, single list TV screen in this example. Therefore, Strong similarity exists between con consecutive rows and consecutive colors. Another insight is developers do not arbitrarily distort the image layout. So our approach is based on the fact that the amplitude uh, spectrum of the image reflects the period periodicity of the similarity. Here we, leverage, here we leverage the spectrum produced by a faster Fourier transform algorithm to find such periodicity. Fourier, uh, Fourier transform can decompose a signal from the time domain into the frequency domain. In the first example, there is one period. In the second, in the second example, there exists n periods at this time, we know the total length and the number of periods, then we could calculate the period, period length easily, that is the image wise. Even to some complex cases, the periodicity feature could, could be observed. Even for the most tough cases of block padding, through another round of FT, we could also obtain the period length. After step two, we have obtained the image length. In the last, in the last step, we still need to remove the leading blocks. If the leading block is not removed, the recovered image cannot be correctly aligned, as this example shows. The present competition is derived from the premise that consecutive columns can be expected to be similar. How to understand it? Uh, in, the, in this example, we could find the error occurs between column one and uh, column two. And so we know there is one leading block. 
Therefore, we, def uh, we designed an algorithm to transform this matrix into the original image matrix. Uh, let's see some evaluation. We connected the evaluation on AMD and the NVIDIA platform and, and uh, demonstrated the effectiveness of our attack against the four popular applications on Ubuntu, include uh, Google Chrome, Adobe Reader, GMP, and uh, MATLAB. And our observations suggest uh, almost every GPU acceler accelerated application is vulnerable. The first case is Chrome. Let's say it, in this tag we assume the victim user use Chrome to log in, his, to log, log in his Gmail account and the email list was displayed. After our tag, you could find the, the browser types access, uh, access bar email titles have been, success, have been successfully recovered, so your email account and, tell, and the titles are linked to the attacker. Adobe Reader uses GPU to accelerate the rendering process of PDF documents. Similar to the uh, current case, Segments of figures and the text were recovered, so the contents of the classified document you ever viewed were leaked. GMP is a popular image, uh, image processing software. In this tag, we, uh, the user open an image, image file, apply some different image filter, and then close the, close the image. After the tag, we could uh, successfully uh, restore images with uh, what we call uh, straps uh, obscuring the original image. image. After some extra processing, we recover the original picture. That will see your private picture a link to the attacker. At defense, we give two possible solutions. The first is man, uh, it's first manual clearing. We know uh, complete reduced clearing requires considerable resources. So selective uh, clearing is a more practical solution, but it will bring extra task for developers. Another solution is image layout of obfuscation. Develops, uh, develops Obfuscate the image layout in the GPU memory. For example, they could uh, store the pixels in some irregular format. Of course, it uh, also will uh, introduce some overhead. Uh, one page takeaway. Uh, to summary, in this work, we find the, cur the current GPU memory management is vulnerable, that is, malicious programs could uh, cross the uh, memory isolation boundary to obtain raw memory date. Uh, in this work, we propose a novel method of requiring original image from GPU, uh, from GPU residues. In addition, we carry out uh, several evaluation and the result shows popu uh, several popular applications are uh, vulnerable. Okay, uh, one more thing uh, was advertisement. This year's uh, CNS will host by the Chinese University of Hong Kong. If you want to visit Hong Kong in this December for fun, <laughs> consider submit your work. The deadline is in next week. Okay, thanks for your listening. Question. <laughs>